Thank you, Amelia. 6.33 right now. Civil rights advocates, families of survivors, and organizations, they plan a rally and news conference today. That's after six detainees died in the St. Louis Justice Center. All of those deaths since April. And the power of twos, Ella Arby joins us downtown with the demands being issued by these groups. Ella? Well, the groups involved say they're doing it this to show solidarity to those that are currently detained at CJC, as well as those who lost their lives at GC CJC. Right now, the press conference and rally are planned for later this morning. There will be several speakers in attendance. They say they want full transparency on all jail deaths from elected officials. The coalition includes impacted families who have lost loved ones in custody, previously detained individuals, Action St. Louis, Arch City Defenders, and more. They demand that the Detention Center Facility Oversight Board immediately launch a full investigation into the six deaths and any ongoing complaints made by those detained. They're also calling for the release of detainees accused of lower-level crimes and those with serious medical conditions, as well as to increase the use of pre-trial release versus no bond allowed to terminations. The group says detainees have reported overcrowding and being contained to their cells for 23 hours per day. They also say pepper spray, bear mace and tear gas are often used on inmates. They're demanding an immediate end to the use of all chemical agents against detainees and end to 23-hour lockdowns, adequate safe drinking water and food for detainees and increased medical resources to provide needed medical care to all detainees. Right now, CJC officials say, quote, the health and safety of detainees and staff remain our highest priority. The conference and rally are planned for 11 this morning outside the City Justice Center. Now we are live in downtown St. Louis. I'm Mela Araby.